Welcome to Let's Make a Space. Let's meet the gang. Here's Get It Done, Dave Elliott, MacGyver, Mikey Ocado, Little Dave De Silva, Jessica, the boss, Robertson, and here's me, Andy, the lead designer. For Central Oregon's room makeover specialists, watch us transform your neighbor's living spaces every week. Well, I can't tell you how excited I am. A movie buff, we're gonna get to do a home theater. We're at Penny's house, so we're gonna go in and take a peek. Let's go. So, is this... This is the room. This is the room. This is our room. It's the, um, the catch-all for everything we've ever not But it's set up used. for movies. It is, it's set up for movies. It's and set up for um, movies. We just want it to be, you know, movie central. It's a room where you watch movies right now as opposed to a movie theater. Exactly. Experience, yeah. Well, obviously there's, uh, there's a lot we can do in here. Great. Um, I think the screen, as nice as it is, being a plasma and everything, it's a little small. So we could it put is. a large screen mm -hmm. on the wall over here. That'd be great. Projector in the back. Oh, okay. And that means that we obviously got to remove all of the DVDs. Mm -hmm. It is taking up a lot of room, and I'd rather get rid of the boxes if possible. Oh. How many people did you want to see? Well, six minimum, uh, six more minimum. if we could, but yeah. I don't know if you can get all of that into this little tiny space. So Let's go over here. Let's talk okay. about cabinets. Cause you talked about cabinets for... Right. We need to get them out of sight because okay. I don't like to look at them. I'd like them behind doors. And they're going to um, be relatively low level, obviously. Right, because the screen would come the down, screen's right? going to come down mm -hmm. and we've got to have room for the center channels. Right. So they're not going to be very high. So it would probably be about six inches lower Great. than the cabinet you've got right now. Okay. And again, there's many ways that we can go about cataloging and keeping your DVDs in a much smaller space. That would be great because I'd love yeah. to get rid of the, the whole thing back there. It's just so well, unpleasant to look at. It's just so distracting, I think. It is. I mean, I love to look at the covers and everything, but again, it's very easy to lose them. We can mm -hmm. organize them in a multi-DVD unit on-screen menus. You mean like a disc player? Like a disc thing? player, carousel disc player. Oh, and you can get them all in there? Well, I, I had a look, scanned it. I think you got about 400 DVDs out there. I think there. so. They come in 300 unit pieces. Oh, so. great. So we'll probably need to get two of those, possibly, okay. and link them together. That'd be wonderful, as long as I don't have to see them. I like clean, neat, tidy looking. Oh, yeah. It will all be neat and tidy. And great. you can even take the cases out, and we can put those in like photo albums and flip oh through gosh. with numbers on and things okay. like that. They make cases and innards for those. That'd be great. So the drapes that we've got existing, is this a, a fabric that you're married to, that you mm. like, or? No, I put it up um, only to help block some of the light because this room gets so bright, so bright that it's day. difficult to watch a movie, especially in the afternoon. When the sun hits below the top deck, uh -huh. the sun comes right in. So we did, but as you can see, you can still see the, the light yeah. through them. So I'm not married to them. You can change them out or li add liners or whatever works it's to make that. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if they'll match what you know, you're planning on doing, and so you can certainly get rid of them. Okay, so as with all theaters, I think it's very important that you, you define it by the entrance. Okay. And we don't have a whole lot of room around the doorway, but if we come out, I'd like to show you what I'd like to do out here. Okay. So I think ultimately out here, we're going to put a nice cap in and make it a theater signage for the family name and the nice little metal letters. Okay. That'll be mounted on a wood frame that'll have curtain the upholstery oh, either great. side that'll hang down. So that'll side. be like the marquee type entrance. Type entrance. Oh, that'll be nice. Now we've got about a week to okay. get prepared for this drum, right? Yes. So we both go, better go get started. I know, I we better. <laughs> As with any theatre, there's a lot of drapery and upholstery to consider. But before we start with that though, we're installing some sound deadening panels to help keep the sound in the room and help with the acoustics. Penny wanted to ensure that we had seating for seven people, which is quite the challenge in such a small room. But we accomplished it by removing all the cabinetry that was along the back wall and creating a riser to lift the back row up 12 inches above the floor. This allows everyone a clear view of the screen. Even with full recliners, we were able to accomplish this goal with room to spare. Here's the timely arrival of our seating from California. 
you can see the base sections of the recliners placed here on the riser. As you heard Penny say earlier, she definitely didn't want to lose the storage they had in the room. We decided that the best way to accomplish this was to create base cabinets the length of the wall under the screen. All of the doors will have speaker cloth, hide the speakers, components, blankets, etc. and leave some room for some other things. The refreshment center was easily my favorite part of the room. With a fridge, microwave and storage for snacks and under cabinet lighting, it created exactly what Penny was looking for in regard to preparing popcorn for Jeff and the kids or set up for a romantic evening as we did here. In order to make Jeff feel like this was truly his theater, we had these custom H's prepared and then we had them glued onto these wood plaques that were going to hang between the lights either side of the screen. There's also another one in the center cabinet that's on the outside of his speaker channel. The simple ceiling lighting on a demo was all we needed. Most of the mood lighting was created by the perimeter rope light in the cabinets and riser and the two picture lights either side of the screen. The former plasma screen was to be used on another part of the house. Enter the HD projection setup with a high def screen. Here I am setting up the components on the floor. Part of what you are looking at here is yes, two 300 DVD carousel players from Sony, all with upconvert technology to 1080i. This was a great way to consolidate the DVDs and get rid of all those plastic cases that were formerly along that back wall. The unit had an on-screen menu to pick the movies by genre. It's a very cool way to go. Well, Jeff is arriving any minute, so we're quickly checking to ensure everything is working as planned before Penny leads him to his new surprise. So this oh, is I'm it. very excited. Wow, that is wonderful. What a great little entry to the theater. I love right. it. I love the way you put the, the movie posters here. This is great. But you didn't spell theater with the R-E, only the E-R. I know. I've done that, though. Yeah, before. well, thank you. Thank you for getting it right. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. All right. Here we go. Here we go. And again, right come on. You going to close your eyes? Nope. No, Straight I'm just going to go right in. Go ahead, oh, my God. This is amazing. Incredible. Oh, it looks great. Refrigerator. Beautiful. Cupboard. Microwave. Refreshments. It's and you spelled that correctly, too. <laughs> Very good. Wow, this looks great. The screen is phenomenal. Much bigger than I thought it was going to be. And then the cupboards in the front. Is this where equipment is? Right. Well, we've got, we'll have 400 that'll go into this unit here. OK. And then 400, up to 400 more that'll go into this unit over here. OK. And your speakers, your two front channel speakers are in here. Your center channel's behind this grid. That is just great. Look at this. And I love how dead it is in here. Yeah. That is perfect. Yeah, when this is all brushed up, it'll oh, yeah. dead even it'll catch oh, every. Oh, yeah, no, but look at that. That is great. Oh, it's just very dead in here. That's going to sound wonderful. So may I sit in a chair? You may. And then we want to step up to get up on the. And then your little um, recliner switch is in the, the right side. The, you pull there's that. actually a switch just to, oh, right here? Yeah, you pull that. You just, oh. <laughs> Very nice. Mm. <laughs> wow. Very nice. Thank you. 1080. We're turning this up here too. You'd have to observe me to know for sure, but you can trust me on that. Yeah. Wow. I'm an extremely fast learner. It's sure. just and, amazing. You know, my ex-husband was useless, so that didn't really work out. That just knocks the socks <laughs> off plasma. Mm -hmm. I think oh. it really does. Bring the colors up. You can do different Look, things with it. All of these are okay. really advanced settings. Wow. Getting down into gamma and over scans. Oh, that is great. You're going to hit me or hug me? <laughs> I'm going to hug you. Are you kidding? I'm going to hug you, buddy. Fantastic uh, job. I am very impressed. Very impressed. 
It's amazing, though, the difference in the room. Oh, it really is. I just can't believe it's the same room. And what you were able to get out of a relatively small space is very impressive. Okay. To get a big theater feel out of such a small space, that's what I was wondering how you're going to pull that off. Well, we and we were too. And I think you've done. Well, me penny. <laughs> I think I think you've done it. We very, had many a conversation in here about seats and everything else. We no, I'm, they were. I'm quite impressed. This is wonderful. Oh, it looks great. That's just great. You guys did a great job. I love the balance all the way around. It really looks like a theater, doesn't it? Oh, you did a great job. I would never have guessed this was the same room. Fantastic job. I am very impressed. Very impressed. Wow, that is really great. Isn't that beautiful? It is very, I'm very, very nice. So happy yes, I am too. <laughs> oh. Very nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh.